If you ever needed to be convinced that mass incarceration is slavery, look no further than Louisiana, where the nation's largest prison sits atop 18,000 acres of former slave plantations, where the people incarcerated there are still by law forced to perform virtually free labor that the state of Louisiana profits millions from. America already incarcerates more people than anywhere else in the world, but within its own borders, Louisiana has the largest prison population in this country. So as bad as that all sounds, what if I told you it just got a lot worse? Just a few days ago, Republican Governor Jeff Landry signed into law a terrifying law that would one, prevent anyone convicted of a crime after August 1st from ever qualifying for parole. Please think about that. The state with the highest prison population, with prisons that sit atop slave plantations being forced to do free labor, has now made it so a significant amount of those people incarcerated there can never get out. You see what's happening, right? And that's not even all the law would do. Two, it would also allow people to be executed using nitrogen gas, which not only indicates that Louisiana plans to end its 14-year hiatus on executions, but that it plans to do it as inhumanely as possible. In January, Alabama became the first state to try out nitrogen gas as their form of execution for people sentenced to the death penalty. And it was just as inhumane as opponents warned it would be. People watched as Kenny Smith, the man who was executed using nitrogen gas, was strapped to a gurney where for 20 minutes he suffocated, gasped, and writhed in pain. And there's no question who this will disproportionately affect as 65% of the people incarcerated in Louisiana's entire prison system are Black. 